with the death of Blanche de la Force, following the other Carmelites to the guillotine, the curtain falls on the final act of this extraordinary opera, Dialogues of the Carmelites by French composer Francis Poulain. And now here come the five principles. As you can see, being applauded backstage, as well as in the house, Maria Ewing as Blanche, Jesse Norman, Madame Ledouane, Régine Crespin, Madame de Croissy, Florence Cuivar, Mother Marie, and Betsy Norton, Sister Constance. A heartfelt performance, as is each performance of this remarkable opera, and it receives a heartfelt response from this Metropolitan Opera audience. Kulak's powerful score includes great music to the chorus, and next we'll have 11 of the Carmelite nuns. Suzanne de Derian, Teresa Yu Ping Tang, Beverly House, Linda Mays, Nancy Krolius, Robin Hamriot, Janet Wagner, Constance Green, Barbara Bystrom, Melissa Lindner, Carol Wright, and as I mentioned, Suzanne de Derian, Teresa Yu Ping Tang, Beverly House, and Linda Mays. And here are James Courtney, Blanche's father, Jean Kraft, Mother Jeanne, Bacha Godfrey Ben David, Mother Marie, and David Kubler, Blanche's brother, the Chevalier de la Force. Here is Charles Anthony, the first revolutionary commissioner, Russell Christopher, the second commissioner, Ben Holt, the chaplain, John Derenkamp, the jailer, David Hamilton, the doctor, and Paul Frank, the servant in the Marquis's household in the first scene of the opera. Again, the Chevalier and Marquis de la Force, Blanche's brother and father, David Kubler and James Courtney. David Kubler sang Tamino in the Magic Flute for his Met debut, and James Courtney this season has sung De Bretigny in Manon and Falca in De Fledermaus, among other roles. Betsy Norton. She began her Met career in the chorus and sang the role of Constance in the Met premiere of Dialogues in 1977. She has been Serlina and Despina on Met Tours and Tebaldo in the Live from the Met telecast of Don Carlos. She has sung Sophie and Berter, Yano and Yenifer, Ascanio and Berlioz, the Trojans, Florence Quivar. Her performances at the Met include the title role in L'Italiana in Algeri, Joe Casta in Oedipus Rex, Serena in Porgy and Bess, Marina in Boris Godunov, which was her Met debut role, Suzuki in Butterfly, Maddalena in Rigoletto, Fides in Maya Bear's Le Prophet. Jesse Norman, whose debut role at the Met was also her live from the Met debut role, Cassandra in Berlioz the Trojans. And in that opera, she has sung at the same performance here at the Met the two roles of Cassandra and Dido. Next season, she returns in the title role of Ariadne Auf Naxos by Richard Strauss, whose songs are an important part of her recital repertoire. She's also been a Met Joe Casta in Stravinsky's Oedipus Rex. Regine Crespin. Her debut role at the Met was the Marshallin in Der Rosen Cavalier 25 years ago. And her farewell role at the Met has been preserved in this performance. A doubly emotional occasion. She's been a Met Carmen, Charlotte and Werther. Born in Marseille, she's been a favorite with critics and audiences everywhere. Maria Ewing. Her roles at the Met have ranged from the adolescent passion of Carabino to the mature passion of Carmen, the idealistic composer in Ariadne Auf Naxos, and the fickle Dora Bella in Cosi Fantuffe. She sang this poignant role in the Met premiere of Carmelites ten years ago, the year after her debut here as Carabino. 
Next, Manuel Rosenthal, who returns next season to conduct Manon and De Fledermaus. Applauding the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra. Igor Stravinsky told him years ago to go ahead and arrange the Offenbach music for the ballet we know as Gaîté Parisienne, which had its American premiere at the Met. Now the entire cast. This performance was taped on Saturday afternoon, April 4th, 1987. We're happy to announce that next season, the Live from the Met telecasts over PBS will include New York's biggest hit this season on or off Broadway, the Met's exciting new Franco Zeffirelli production of Puccini's Toronto, with Ava Martin as the icy princess, Placido Domingo, the unknown prince, Leona Mitchell, the loving slave girl, and Paul Plischka, the exiled king. The conductor is James Levine. Please watch for the date of the telecast and join us next season for another 20th century masterpiece, Giacomo Puccini's Turandot. Tonight,